Hey everyone, welcome back to Motion RC. I'm your product specialist, Wesley, and today we have the Bison XT version two out on the runway. I've been really flying this a lot here lately and working out that perfect CG. And I wanna share some of this with you as the flight goes. Now, this is the new version two that has the clear windows now for you guys that wanna do FPV. It also comes with a more reinforced undercarriage under the airplane and a stronger tailwheel for these grass ops like we're gonna be doing today. Now, if you're interested in finding out more about my CG location and some of the other features of this airplane, they're gonna be after the flight here in just a second, but without further ado, let's get down there on the airplane and get to flying. All right, I have a five minute timer set. This is a 4,000 milliamp 6S battery, and here we go. No flaps on this takeoff, and as you can see, the airplane is very well behaved. Now, there's no wind at the moment, but it keeps changing from about five miles an hour different directions. So for this flight, I'm gonna focus on doing some touch and goes and maybe a couple maneuvers for you, but I'm no flaps right now, just coming in nice and gently, about a quarter throttle. You can see how nice and behaved this airplane comes in at the CG. We're gonna add the power back in. Those big beefy landing gear don't care nothing about that hard runway there. Let's give it again, but this time we're gonna go half flaps. A Little bit of cross control, coming around. Quarter throttle once again, this is half flaps. Boing, hit that one kinda hard. That's okay, this landing gear can take it. That's what it's designed for. Flaps are up. Now, the Bison isn't just a, a boring stole plane. It can also do performance. So let's go up for a hammerhead. Three, two, one, up, rudder it over. Look at that. Let's go into a roll. Lots of performance in the roll. Pull it over the top and roll out of it and into a loop just to show you some of this performance fun thing with a stole plane all that we're going power off and we're coming into land just like that quarter throttle letting it establish its glide adding the power back in up into a hammerhead and with that 6S power, it has just got gobs and gobs of power. Oh, and that's another fun maneuver with the Bison. So the Bison does one of the best knife edges. It's just very predictable in a knife edge, too. <laughs> Let's do another one the other way. So you get the power in. Add that rudder in and look at it just stand right up. Whoop, flew it over us. Let me pull that back around and try it again. <laughs> look at that knife edge. Awesome. Up into that hammer head again. Whoop. <laughs> so stable. Well, let's just do a stable pass by. Now, Keep in mind, I have no gyro in this airplane either. This is just the bison as it is. And I'm the gyro. And just look at that, that's hands off. Look how stable this airplane is. Use a little rudder to come on around. Let's get another touch and go in. No flaps. Turning it in. I'm adding my flaps in now. Ooh, a little gust of wind. Counter correct it. And boom. Touch and go. Flaps coming up. I would also tell you to keep your flap de deflections at a minimum. You don't want a ton of barn doors on this because it actuates those leading edge slats at the same time. And if you get them too aggressive, you start spoiling the wind going over the wing and they start working against you instead of with you. So there it is again, coming in. Tames it right down. 
you can see that bumpy ground out here this field is not the uh, smoothest to put it that way and the cool thing too is these are air up tires so play with them a little bit to find out works for you you know I don't have them extremely aired up right now because we're out on this rough runway Boing. awesome awesome and like I said the performance look at that we're hovering That was about half throttle to hold it in that hover. The lights are very nice too in the evening. It's covered in lights on this thing. So if you're out in the evening flying it, it's just beautiful. And you get a nice long flight time out of it too. But with that being said, I think we're close to the end of the timer. Uh, trying to just make sure I got to show you everything. Uh, let's go full flaps for this landing. Wind is shifting around on us again. Look at that. There it is, the Bison XT. Let's get it over to the bench and show you around some of the features of this model. All right, so that was an awesome flight of the Bison XT. Now, let's go over some of the new improvements on this model. For one thing, you have clear glass now. A lot of our customers want to do FPV out of this airplane. And the original one kind of had some milkier glass that was harder to see through. So that's been improved on this model to make that easier for you to see out of it. Another thing that's been improved is the undercarriage is a lot stiffer and stronger now. It's got some reinforcements. You could see me hitting it out there and it really can take a whack without damaging the undercarriage. Another thing that we've done in the new versions is it is now coming with the air pump installed in the box for you to use. So you don't have to buy this separately. A lot of customers asked for that, so it is now coming with it. Another thing that a lot of our customers asked for is that the airplane come with the tires pre-built out of the box. So now instead of having to glue the tires together, they're gonna to come right out of the box, already glued together for you, so you don't have to do that. Now, speaking of the tires, uh, we have seen some customers after a few flights where the tires will leak the air out. Uh, that's from the valve stems. Uh, they're just like a basketball valve stem. So if you'll take and put uh, some type of like Vaseline or something sticky kind of like that, lotion, whatever you got around, and uh, put that on your uh, air pump and then put that into the tire a few times that helps seal up that uh, gasket in there that's in the tires like this is and it'll keep them aired up and that's what I've been doing and it's been working really well these have actually been aired up for about a month now without having to air them uh, one other thing you can do that we've seen some of our customers do over on Hobby Squawk is add a screw into the valve stem uh, with some uh, uh, lotion or Vaseline or something around it to kind of fill that air gap but that's another option you can do if your tires started to leak on you to make them not leak anymore uh, the bison also comes with a light controller in it we do have a video uh, either coming out or out already on how to hook up your light controller with a six channel receiver as I have in this one uh, if you want to use the features of being able to turn the lights on and off the wingtips stay on but all the other lights on the airplane can be turned off and on uh, speaking of the wingtips the airplane does come with strobe and nav lights all over it they flash they blink it's really easy to see this airplane in the sun or in the sunset I should say uh, but really cool uh, one thing I wanted to talk about was the flaps now the flaps you only want a deflection that is a minimum on this. If you get them too big, the uh, front slats start to open too much, and that starts to create uh, a boundary layer of air over the top of the wing where it's not making lift anymore. So be careful not to go too far. Uh, as you're seeing on screen right now, this is a shot of the flaps in their fully extended position for me. Uh, but like I said, I like to really only use this little bit uh, when I'm doing it. As far as control deflections, I am set up straight out of the book and I am using the high rates. I really feel like you're gonna want the high rates on this airplane. Go
go on and put you some expo in there though i'm running about 20 percent and that softens up that center section but when you get this airplane slow you really need that deflection travel to keep control of your model uh, like i said this is a bush plane so you're going to be flying it slow a lot of the times you really need a lot of travel when you're doing that if you want to go into a lower rate when the airplane's up in the air and you're just flying around normal you can always do that but i really feel you're going to need the full rates when you're landing and taking this airplane off so now let's get into the battery bay of the airplane it has a very large hatch here that is magnetically held on we can pop that open right there and you've got the center glass like i said now one thing that will make a big difference on this airplane is your cg now i cannot stress this enough if you fly this with a large battery all the way forward in this airplane it flies terrible so be careful not to get it too far forward as you can see this is a 4000 milliamp 6s admiral battery and i have it all the way back to where that front strap is going across the battery leads and then that middle strap is really holding the battery but as you can see i have it way back here so if you're going to fly this with a 5000 you're going to need to even come back further and you can see there's a cutout here to make it easier to push that battery back now remember this airplane can also fly on four cell batteries and that's why with a large six cell battery you have to put it so far back in the battery tray now let me pick the model up for just a second and show you while it's still plugged in where i'm cging from and lori if you can get right here there's these two plastic servo covers up here on the wing for the slats and if you put your fingers right at the back of those little cups that's where you should see this airplane setting very neutral like you see it now and that's where i'm cging it to get this airplane to fly correctly if you don't hit that and you go forward like i said with a 5000 it's going to balance way up here and that makes a huge difference in the way this airplane lands so put your fingers at the back of those little things and uh, hold the airplane and you should see it set nice and level for your cg so now let's get into the battery report i had a five minute timer of useful throttle set i actually landed about 30 seconds early on that and i'm sure we have down in the corner our actual flight time of the airplane but for now let's pop this open and grab a battery report for you so there you go we are at 66 percent right now or 3.92 so we definitely had some more flight in it we could have probably gone for about seven minutes on this 4000 and been just fine i would tell you for your first few flights go on and do a five minute timer though it's always better to have a little bit of go around time and make another approach on your first couple flights as you get more comfortable with the airplane you can extend that flight time out uh, and with a 5000 you're going to be almost knocking 10 minutes with this model so yeah, overall, the Bison XT is a phenomenal flying model. Uh, just make sure you have it set up correctly by the book, and you're going to have a great time with this. Like I said, we also have a float set available for this. We have a video either coming out or out already on how to assemble that. And we're hoping soon to get this over to the lake and get a flight or two off of the water with it. So guys, if you haven't thought about it already, hit that subscribe button. Keep coming back here to Motion RC for the great RC content and how-to videos. Make sure you go follow us over on Facebook at the Motion RC community, customer community, excuse me. And uh, we're going to see you guys in the next video. So without further ado, whether it's land, sea or air, Motion has exactly what you want.